everyone! I only have a few minutes to make this video, so we're gonna go for like a kind of one-shot thing and hopefully it's gonna turn out good. This story today is one that I've told a couple of people recently and both of them said, why isn't that on YouTube? You need to put that on YouTube. So um, here it is, I'm putting it on YouTube. And um, this story is one that I call Kate vs. Toilet Roll. I was going away for the weekend with the choir that I was in. We were going to be staying in Stirling. If you've never been to Stirling, there's a lot of hills in Stirling. And near the top of the hill was the hostel that we were staying in. And near the bottom of the hill was the rehearsal space that we were using. So over the weekend, we spent a lot of time walking up and down hills. But we're going to go a little bit further back than that. Because this story starts when my dad was driving me to Stirling. He was kind of going through the things that I should should have packed. So he was like, did you pack pyjamas? And I said, yes. And then he said, did you pack your toothbrush? And I said, yes. And then he said, did you pack a toilet roll? And I was like, no. Now, we we're on a main road at this point. There was cars everywhere, but if my dad could have done an emergency stop and turned to me and been like, you didn't pack toilet roll, then that totally would have happened because he was totally amazed and shocked that I hadn't thought to pack toilet roll. And I was like, is that a thing? I I'm sharing with a few other girls. Maybe they've packed toilet roll. Like, it's going to be okay. Like, we're in the middle of Sterling. I can find somewhere to buy toilet roll if we don't have any. But he was like, no, no, we need to go to the supermarket now. So on the way to Stirling, we made kind of an emergency pit stop at Morrison's. We picked up a four pack of Andrex. My dad took the other three toilet rolls and he gave me one. And he was like, there you go. You have everything now. So I get to Stirling and I check into my room with um, the other three girls I was sharing with. And I say to them, did anybody pack toilet roll? And they were all as surprised as I was. They were like, what? No, is that a thing? There's toilet roll in the bathroom already. And I was like, yes, I, I know that. It's just my dad insisted on me taking a roll of Andrex with me. So I go into the bathroom. I kind of switch out the hostel toilet paper, which looks kind of cheap. And I put in like this Andrex four ply stuff that is probably going to be much nicer on my bum but I, I wouldn't have packed it myself like I just don't really see the point in packing toilet roll but anyway since it's there I thought I'd put it in the bathroom I didn't want to be the weird person who brought toilet roll and then didn't use it because that's almost weirder than using it if that makes sense anyways a few days go by we've been using the toilet roll and then it comes time to check out and basically what we were going to do that day was we were going to check out of the hostel and then walk down the hill with all our things to the rehearsal space that we'd been using and I'd packed everything up and just as I was like doing one final tour of the room I remembered the toilet roll so I switched back in the hostel one that was already in the room when we got there and I decided to take my Andrex with me because I thought, like, it, it's good toilet roll. You know, I don't want to waste it. So um, I, there wasn't really any room in, like, the stuff that I'd already packed. So I just put it at the, at the top of an open top bag. And we left the room and then we started walking down this hill. At some point as we were walking down this hill, I dropped my bag and the first thing that fell out of the top was the toilet roll. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen an advert for Andrex. I think Andrex has a different name in the US. If anybody knows the US name for Andrex, please put it down below because I can't remember what it was. But um, the Andrex adverts kind of have like puppies chasing the rolls around the house and stuff. It's so cute. But this wasn't cute. Basically, my toilet roll was like speeding down this steep hill, bumping everybody on the ankle as it went past, was, while I, at the other end, was like trying to grab up all the bits that had just like fell while this toilet roll was like speeding down the hill. <laughs> it was so awkward and I was just like, I can't believe this is happening. 
But also I kind of could believe this was happening because something like that had been, you know, ready to happen all weekend with this toilet roll because this was just too weird. So, of course, one of my friends went chasing after it. And then when he came back with the other end, he was like, is this yours? And I would have liked to have said no, but I was holding the other end. So it was kind of obvious it was mine. And he was just looking so confused as to why, why I'd even brought toilet roll. (laughs) It was so, so awkward. But yeah, I was like, thank you. And yeah, that's the toilet roll story. It was really embarrassing. I feel like by the end of the weekend, the whole choir knew that I had brought toilet roll with me. Every time I go into Stirling and see the big hills, I think about chasing a toilet roll down the hill. It couldn't have happened on like a flat street, could it? It had to wait until we had like the steepest hill to walk down. In the comments, if anybody wants to leave a comment, can you let me know, have you ever packed a toilet roll for going away? Did somebody make you pack toilet roll or did you just feel that you needed toilet roll? What's the weirdest thing somebody has ever told you to pack? And has anything like this ever happened to you? I would like to know down below. And thank you so, so much for watching everybody. Cheerio. For the end screen, my friend Ethan Rylett wants me to have a go at a proper Scottish accent. <coughs> okay, the new. It just sounds wrong.